Is that right there? I haven't used a lot of this. It looks like I used a lot of it, but like I mean, when you get the product, it kind of settles anyway, so it's not like all the way full. But it was like right here. I've used a little bit just because with these gripping primers, if you go in and you rub it, you will have little balls all over your face. These primers are not meant to cover your whole face and you know rub it in and set it into your skin. This is to grip your foundation. I find it best for me. Everybody is different. That if you pat it in certain areas that you need, just kind of set it in exact location and use as little as possible in those locations. You're good to go, and it does make your foundation last longer. So this will be good for around the nose, around the mouth, wherever you may tend to lose products first is where you want to put And on their newest product, so excited, is the concealer. This is a triple fix full coverage brightening concealer. I went in with a MN1. Which I show it lighter again with this. I was kind of going off that I went in with the M and three, so like two shades down. Because as you can tell, it is a little lighter, but it's just not as light as you want a concealer. But this is like my perfect shade, so I know to go in and get M in one for my foundation next, and probably go down still two more for my concealer. Which I can still use this. I can spot treat and um, use it under my eyes, and then just dab a little bit of lighter concealer on top, and boom, you're good to go. And the other things they just launched was the sponges, which are freaking adorable. I did not open this one just because I don't want to run out the time of both of them at the same time. I was really excited and intrigued to use this one first. This one's cute, cool, and unique, but not nothing as crazy as this one. This one I was really, really like, oh, I can't wait because the fact you can cut your nose right there, right there. Set all that setting powder, pressing that concealer uh, right in here. And then you have four sides. So if you want to like set your foundation, concealer, what have you on this, your foundation and your powder, like it's universal for all the goodies. Um, this is the matte bronzer that I love and adore already. Y'all know that. Setting powder is a really good setting powder. I don't know if y'all can see the drip I was putting this already. And then newest to the collection is the cream blush in Self Love. She does look a little dark, but that's what it looks like just laying on her. Once you blend it out, it blends out so beautiful. And it's just a beautiful mauve red. And look at that. Gorgeous. So I want to show y'all everything I have from them and kind of speed up the process of me doing my foundation and all this and then come back afterwards and give you my honest opinion on how everything worked together. I did also pick up a brush. I wanted so bad a t-shirt or a sweater. Like, so bad! But I was like, I want to know by. Can't do it, so I didn't do it. And this was the few things that I was able to grab. So, let's get to it. I'll be right back. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. Put some music on in the background. That way you can jam out while you watch me do it. And with the audio, it's a lot easier that way. And you're not trying to hear me come in and out and explain the things. Pretty much my routine, I do every other day I do my makeup. Just using more LYS products. Be right back. <laughs> Like a sensei, juju 
you hit my line like what you want, babe Hit her with the script like working out with her, babe No way, I'm at the gym, you at the gym It's a small world, I might just have to link with you and him Look up at this girl like, let me get my words right Cause if she catch me with you, then we going down like Suge Knight I got a plan, you take your bag like that Then we gon' hit that gas, make a U-turn 100 miles on the 90 Gotta pray to God that we just do not crash Okay, okay, I can see like I just tried Hey, show me the school to my rock and I'm not talking about Jack Black. Hey, what you do when you doing something you not supposed to do? Thinking it's gonna shield the one you love like they bulletproof. Just like Paul Pierce, it's all lie when they know the truth. Hey, all cry in the end when she leave and she take your juice. Cool. Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop. Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the. What do you do when Captain turn your love to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean up a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop. Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the. What do you do when Captain turn your love to a op? Telling me to stop, hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the What do you do when Captain turn your bubble to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop, hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the What do you do when Captain turn your bubble to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head, they telling me to stop, hey, got 20 G's for the what do you do when Captain turn your love to a op? Hey, I'm rolling clean off a beam in the drop. Voices in my head and telling me to stop. Hey, got 20 G's for the keys to the. What do you do when Captain turn your love to a op?
you go. And the only new things there was to me was the blush, the concealer, the brush, and the sponges. And again, like I said, I don't use the primer every single time. It's just to kind of, you know, I want my foundation to last longer in certain areas. But this is just a, you know, a normal wear, wear and tear. So we're going to do it like this and kind of see how long it lasts. But I, I love the shade of the blush. I did go in with a Sasha Rona Love Mini Palette and put on top, you know, as a powder blush. But I love it. I, the, it's just such amazing products. They are clean products. And packaging just kills me, y'all. Like, I'm sorry. Am I the only one for sucking with packaging? I can't be right. I still, I still do need to go in and get the highlighter so I can try out. And then I'll have the full products of the brand. And then I need a sweater, a shirt, and another shirt, another sweater. And like all the brushes. <laughs> Just all, oh, okay? Just all of it. But I love how good this primer, I mean, this concealer works with the foundation. It's so nice. It set down really nice. It stayed right there. And didn't go nowhere. I do have a code to save you. I think it's fifteen percent off. It is J uh, L Y S J Vargas V A R G A S. I will have it down below in the description box, of course. And on any other video that I upload, I keep all my codes at the bottom of the description box. So anytime you're wanting to save you some coin and you're not sure if I have a code or not, just drop down below. I don't have a whole bunch, but I do have a couple with different amazing indie brands, and I would love to share them with you. Some are affiliated, some are not. This is affiliated codes, so it does help me get money back to be able to purchase from them. It is Glow Beyond. Like, think of your moisturizer inside your foundation, how it sits on your skin. So I still go in and I moisturize and I prep and all that good stuff. But to put this on top of it, it just makes it feel so much healthier and glowy without that glowy. And only with a very light, natural um, highlighter, the Pat McGrath is very natural is to me. But it's very like subtle, but still boom. And it's nice and glowy instead of like, like bright, bright. A girl has awarded this foundation, that I want to say last year, for it being like one of the best foundations. So if you have not tried this, I highly recommend it. And I really highly recommend you try the concealer while you're there. This is only 18 bucks. That is not much at all. The foundation, I want to say, is 22 $22 and $18 for some amazing, clean products. And you're supporting an indie brand and a black-owned indie brand at that. Come on now. Like, most of the time, foundations that... I might sound bougie when it comes to this, but like $49, $50 is usually the typical what I pay for a foundation to feel this nice on my skin. There are very little low cost foundations that sit this nice that I've grabbed to every time. Like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I do like that one. But at the same time, I like every since I've grabbed this and I did a review on this probably about two months ago, this sits on my table. I'm constantly grabbing this and I have a drawer full and I'm constantly aiming for this. So I highly recommend it. I'm going to have to go in and get buy a new one soon and when I do I'll be able to grab a lighter shade for these two I do know that the sponges are ten dollars a piece you can go in and get just this one or just this one and then the bundle is 16 last I checked on there the bundle was sold out so if you didn't get a chance to grab the bundle you know you can you can still purchase one single last I checked these right here the blush I want to say is eighteen dollars and I'll try to throw it up here, the prices of these. The bronzer, I want to say, is like maybe 20 And then the setting powder is maybe like 20 Ain't nothing over $20 for this. And then I want to say this is like maybe 18 or $20 too. I do know like $28 for the serum. And that's like the next product I want to get. And then I want to get the highlighter. The brushes do run about $15 a piece. But if you look, it's a very unique style brush. It's... It's shaped in the elf, first of all. Like, come on now. 
And it is so cute. You see it up in there. And then it's got the deeper hairs right here. And then these are more periodically. So you can just stipple that in. So it's not just like a full pigment all in one spot. You get to spread it around. And it's so easily spread it that it just looks flawless. Like it's, it's just supposed to be there. Like if I had got sun kissed on my cheeks from the sun, legit. Now this is just first application. I will try to come back at a later date and give y'all a full rundown. I've done wear tests on the foundation itself and it's just amazing. When I sit around with the kids, playing with the kids, playing with the girls, they're constantly touching my face, me cooking, doing what I have to do as a mother and wife and come back and still have flawless looking skin six to eight hours later. And about that time is when I took it off. I didn't go to work over eight hours. But for eight hours for me doing as much as I do, I am a mother of nine, and I am a wife, and I sit here and I cook every day. So I'm around the stove, I'm in dishes, and all that stuff. I have two babies, one's two and one's one, constantly in my lap, constantly grabbing onto me, you know, in my space, as I would say, and stuff. So it's, it's, it's effing amazing. So it's an item you must try. Even if you don't use my code, Go in and Google your code, but I, you know, I greatly appreciate it if you do use my code. Then I'm able to purchase more items from that brand and able to bring them to you and show y'all what I got and like how it works and all that good stuff. I can only imagine how far this brand's going to go. Like, y'all put y'all seatbelts on because they're going up quick, quick. Everything they released so far is amazing. So I can I can't wait for like an eyeshadow palette or like a face palette or something in the palette category being you know. I have palette addiction problems. So really super excited about that. And they ship so fast. Like for them to have their new release and have all that in there. And you know what a new release in a smaller brand. It is very overwhelming for everybody to come in like boop, 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 purchase, purchase, purchase. They literally shipped out my products the very next day. I want to say. I didn't wait long. That's for sure. I highly recommend this brand if you have not tried them. Go grab up. Uh, first and foremost, grab up the concealer and foundation and try it. They are a must. Must have. And then everything else, you will fall in love as I did. There's really nothing too much I can say bad about it. Just be careful when you're going in with that primer if you're not sure how to use this primer. Watch a couple of videos with gripping primer because if you rub, it will bowl up and you're just going to mess up your whole face and be concerned what's going on. Like, you want to think it's the product itself or you know what have you counteracting so you have to be careful what you're mixing and matching with certain products this is evenly applied thin layer to skin following moisturizer following moisturizer wear alone or with makeup this would be really good to wear alone it's a really good hydrating serum but again if you go in just pat it in the areas don't rub pat into the skin let it sit for a few minutes Go and do your primer first, go off, do your eyebrows, do your eyes, do your hair. Typically, that's how my routine goes. I go in and I do my primer, or my moisturizer, my primer, then my eyes, whatever eye look I'm doing, and then come back and do my foundation just because if I have any mess, any fallout, whatever, I don't have to restart or wipe off or be concerned with my base. But I wanted to show y'all the finished look with all this. I do have an eye look to do before I collab with that after here. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I will see y'all soon. I hope, I hope to have everything fixed with my channel soon. Like, praying, 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 praying. So please share me out. More views I get, more that I can put back into my channel. Because the more I get paid from my channel, I can put back in there. And I can get a computer or what have you, or a new phone. But what I need to get to be able to make the content better for y'all. Because I do not like having crappy content. That's not how I go. I've been at this for two years. I know how to edit. I've learned everything. Self-talk. Self-aware. By having asking friends questions, learn through them, watch YouTube videos and all that I've learned. So it's something that I sit high and proud of what I've accomplished over the year, two years that I've been doing this. And to have my audio glitchy and not be able to do this about it, it's like killing me. So hopefully I'll either get this phone fixed or I'll go in and just get a new phone. I need to get a laptop so I can start filming off my camera. I mean, I've had my Canon for now and it's crazy because I haven't been able to film off of it and it's, uh, it's driving me nuts. But I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.